there are certain decisions that are required to be fast, but you have to weigh what the consequences, ROI, and and risk related to that decision is. And then and then adjust the time and your curiosity based on that. For example, now if someone asked me to go into business together, I would be significantly slower and significantly more curious. I'd ask questions like, what does success look like for you? What does, how does this business correlate with the lifestyle you want to build? How do you like to work? What am I bringing that you can't already do yourself? What are you bringing that I can't already do myself? Right? Are we going faster together? Or are we just trying to plug a hole that is just imaginary? Let's say five years from now, is this a business you want to sell? Is this a business that you want to have for, for, uh, for life? Where's your zone of genius? Are you an operator? Like, do you want to be in the trenches day to day? Or do you feel like you're more of a strategic thinker and you want to be CEO? What role do you see me playing? What role do you see yourself playing? How do you make decisions? I've been married 10 years, by the way. So like, it's a relationship because you're going to have to compromise. You're going to have to communicate accordingly. So that's what I mean when I say slow your decision making down because the honeymoon phase is always, there's a honeymoon phase in everything, whether it's money, whether it's relationships, whether it's success, you have to be able to see the step after the honeymoon phase, then the dip that inevitably comes from it and then go. And sometimes you, you yeah, trust your gut because you don't have enough knowledge, but ideally you have a network of people that you can go and say, hey, I see that you're in business with a partner, for example, in my situation. Tell me what that's like. Hmm. Tell me the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, all of it. I want all of it. And then you go to the person that you're considering going into business with and you ask those questions. Vice versa. Like a lot of people see these really successful content creators. I get the DMs all the time and I don't even consider myself successful. And they're like, how do I get to, uh, how do I get to this many followers? And I'm like, what do you think it takes to get to this many followers? Good so I gauge, so I gauge their baseline. Okay, why do you want this many followers? They give the reason. And then when reality hits someone in the face, they're like, then they're able to ask themselves, do I really want what I think I want? Because I'm only seeing the honeymoon phase.